this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can easily set guest access uh, for external users in SharePoint Online. Uh, let me explain to you the situation, the use case. So as you share your sites uh, or maybe files or folders in SharePoint uh, externally, uh, the recipient has access to that content kind of forever until you maybe revoke access. Uh, what you can do, though, and that's done from the SharePoint Admin Center, you can actually set the limits, all right? So after a certain period of time, the recipient will essentially lose access and you will need to invite uh, them again. Let me show you how to do that. So you do need to be a SharePoint Admin to set this up. So you need to navigate to the SharePoint Admin Center right here. And then um, once in there, under Policies, Sharing, tab, and then you click more external sharing settings. It's kind of hidden. Um, by default, uh, like I said, you know, external sharing, um, you, you know, pretty much is kind of unlimited, meaning that uh, once you share the content, the recipient has access until you revoke it. Uh, but there are a couple of ways for you to revoke that access. There are a few checkboxes here. And um, let me explain to you the difference uh, between the two. So uh, this checkbox essentially uh, mostly deals with site external sharing as well as sharing from your OneDrive, all right? But if you decide to share, let's say, the whole site, uh, all right, uh, SharePoint site that is, uh, and um, you want to limit that, uh, you can check that box. And this is where you specify uh, after how many days, um, you, you know, the access will expire. Um, uh, let me just enter the number. I want to show you the limits. Um, so it has to be anywhere between 30 and 700 and, um, you know, uh, 30 days. So essentially two years. All right. So anywhere from a month to two years, you can set the limit. Maybe let me, you know, I don't know, do uh, 50 days. All right. And then the second option. Now, the second option is a little bit different. You can also set this up, but if you notice, it has to deal with verification codes. I don't know if you notice when you share not the whole site, but maybe a particular file or folder from your OneDrive or um, you know or SharePoint site. Uh, by uh, you know by default, right? It sends you the recipient the verification code. It's really for situations when the recipient does not have their Office 365 account, all right, when um, maybe they use their Gmail or whatever uh, address, and uh, they also have to type in that temporary verification code as well, uh, just to kind of prove the identity. Once again, uh, you can also set this option, and let's see the limits here. Uh, all right, so I believe, uh, let me just uh, type in something really large. All right, um, one second. All right, yeah, I think I, I got it. Yeah, it has to be anywhere from essentially, you know, one day to one year. All right. Um, so you can set those limits. Once you decide on what the limits are, all right, um, all you need to do is just click save. Uh, now, what's actually going to happen, and it's a bit uh, hard for me to uh, obviously demonstrate this, but uh, let's say I allowed my access for 50 days, all right, to the external recipient. And let's pretend I share the site. Uh, it will actually, uh, I forget, I believe it's, you know, about 15, maybe or 20 days prior to the expiration, it will start displaying the kind of the warning message on the site uh, to, to all the site owners, uh, telling them that, you know, such and such user will lose access in, you know, X amount of days. And um, I will be given the option to either just let it go or extend it, all right? Uh, but just wanted to let you know as well that, um, uh, this is something else that will be happening. And I actually have written a detailed blog post with images and everything on my blog. Uh, so I will make sure to include it uh, in the uh, description of this video as well. All right. Uh, so that's all I wanted to show you in this uh, particular video. In my opinion, you know, a great feature, especially for those who are concerned about, um, you know, security uh, and permissions in your SharePoint uh, environment. Uh, hopefully you learned something new today. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.